continuing the trend from last Stranger Danger, I'm going in with a two dex character, two dex Ulgrim. This one was very heavily requested, so that's why I'm pulling it out. If you want me to pull out a certain legend or a certain stance uh, that you think that I'm not very good with, or I don't know, maybe you're not very good with it, and there's a chance that it's a stranger to me as well, just leave a comment. That's, uh, that's where I'm getting this Ulgrim one from, so shoutouts to whoever wanted to see the Grim. Here you go. There's the Q. Who's it gonna be? It's gonna be Jadzi on the Ragnar. Alright, let's see. I got Axe Down Sig, I got Lance Side Sig, and I got uh, two decks, I guess. I don't know what the third thing was gonna be. I was gonna say server lag, but then the game started right away, but it looks like Jadzi is, is lagging as well. Do I do I play? Do I hit? Okay, I guess I hit. I guess that's a sign. I'm not quite sure what's going on here. Is this lag? Is this strategy? It doesn't look like strategy, because I don't feel like it's working very well. Especially since Jadzi here is not looking too healthy. But I'll, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. That it's... That's lag or something like that. Something along those lines. Uh, jumping a lot after getting hit. So, that'll result in an early death. To say the least. But We'll see if I can do this without getting hit. That, would, that is unlikely, but if I can pull it out, that'd be cool. I'm feeling a recovery or something. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm honestly very scared about getting hit now. I really want to not get hit. I, I haven't seen like a single hitbox other than the first one be thrown out from this player, but who knows? Uh, yeah. I okay. There, there's a hitbox. Downlight. Do I have to avoid downlight? Is that the one thing I look out for? I'm very scared. I don't want to get hit. Please. <laughs> okay. 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 No risks. No risks. Don't get hit by downlight. They showed me downlight. Oh! There was a Sayer. There was an Ensig though. And that's a JV4. Oh, it was a bot! <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! Oh, that makes a lot more sense. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> yeah, that makes a lot more sense. Okay, well, you know. A win is a win, I guess. I don't know if I should count that. I'm definitely gonna leave that in. I'm not gonna cut that out. <laughs> Cause I feel like that was pretty funny. But uh, I think I'm still gonna play four games. Cause that, that didn't really, yeah, that, that didn't count. Oh, and we just get a game right away. I don't even have to cut. That's kinda, that's kinda hype. I'm not gonna lie. Anytime I don't have to, Go back and cut? It's more time to go back and grind. Think about it. Time allocation. Oh, I thought I grabbed the weapon. Apparently I did not, though. My lance, not the hottest. Definitely hotter than my, my cannon. If you saw the cannon video over the weekend, but... Definitely not that hot. Things have considerably slowed down since I picked up this weapon as well. But that's just how these go. A little bit of unfamiliarity. Stranger danger for a reason. That was a very risky signature and I probably should not have done it. But I got this SIG. This SIG is so good. It spikes as well. Even if you uh, land on the bottom side, you think you're going to be sent up. You think you're all good. Think you got saved? No, no, no. It spikes you straight downwards. A stacked, grounded killing option for Axe. It's something that most Axe Legends don't have. Something that the Grim does. And the Grim like you. The Grim like you a lot. Grim do not like you getting hit into the corner, though. Not at all. Is that gonna kill? I, I, I honestly don't know. Oh, that sucked me in. I did not think I was getting hit by that one. Apparently the Nyx didn't either because he went really far down. The chainsaw. The chainsaw KO. Small Enigma has a pretty uh fitting for the name. Small killboxes, so. 
Honestly, not even that surprised at that kill. And there we go. There's the Lance Classic. You see everyone get hit by that. It's honestly terrifying. I should probably lab it out, see what the actual way to get out of it is, because to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. And that's something I could probably look into. But I just haven't. But yeah, Lan Lan Lance is pretty scary. Again, I mentioned this last Stranger Danger video. People tend to consider Lance one of the weakest weapons in the game. That doesn't mean it's bad, it's just different. It's kind of like, no matter what, you you can always still like do stuff with Lance, right? Because you're all you're not gonna win neutral every time in an even matchup when both of you are about the same skill. Typically with Lance, it's harder to win in neutral because it's slower, it's more punishing. But let's say for every two neutral wins that you get, the other person gets three. You'll probably end up winning that game, even though you're losing neutral less. Because it's harder for you to win neutral, but the reward is typically greater. And you can put opponents in situations like that. Also, Lance is pretty hard to gimp because of uh, how the recovery works in this air. The recovery priority is pretty crazy. But that's not to say you can't do it. Someone that's really good at recovering with Lance is really hard to gimp, though. Because they usually won't waste all their options and then go for the charged recovery and then just get gimped by a weapon throw. Yeah, this Axe there buff is actually kind of nutty. So now you've got this version and you've got the other version. I still don't think Axe is like super OP. I think most people that think Axe is super OP tend to be at a lower level because it's for the same reason why, honestly, for the same reason that I was just talking about Lance, it's harder to win neutral but the reward is greater. At lower level, neutral is a lot less developed and so weapons that have a bigger reward tend to be pretty dominant. Slower weapons like Axe, when people aren't as good as pun at punishing, tend to work wonders. Faster weapons, maybe like Katars, that tend to get less per individual hit, but more on the punish, in the punish game, maybe are a little bit harder. Stuff like that. Ooh. Wait, I'm actually not dead. I mean, I don't, I don't have recovery options, so I am dead, but I didn't die off the kill box is what I meant. I thought I was a goner for sure. Olgrim's got some defense on him. Also, this side sig hits like a truck. Like, if I hit this, this thatch will die for sure. 100%. So I'm just gonna fish for it over and over again. Okay, I didn't land the first hit, so give me a, cut me some slack here. Give me a break. I'm just going for it over and over again. Maybe not the play. Maybe not the play. What I am going to do is a sideline into a charge Densig and hope he spot dodges. Oh, uh, it's set straight up! This map has a ceiling! Ah, oh, that did not hit. Okay. You saw what I was going for. You saw. You saw. You saw. I was going to go down and try and nair him into it, but it didn't work out. You saw. You saw. This is what happens. This was Stranger Danger. This series started as, I suck at these characters. Let's try and win some games. Two. I'm just gonna mine combo and side sig over and over again and chainsaw in the middle of the map. This is what YouTube does to me. That's not even true. That that that's not even true. Just, this is how I am <laughs> anyway. <laughs> YouTube has nothing to do with it. All right, switch up the color. Go for some charged OG. I don't even know what number game this is. I think that was number two because I don't count the bot one. But if I'm mistaken, I do one extra. I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. Drink some water. Stay hydrated. Very important. Don't choke on your own water. As I tend to do a lot. Also, this SIG is really good. Like, you don't only need to use it in kill percent. Use it like that. They dodge down or down diagonal. Now, this is where I might struggle a little bit because of my two decks against faster weapon, the faster character. But again, you see how much Lucien was hitting me and for how long, and I just hit him a couple times an hour. Now I'm in the lead again. It's that kind of deal. Harder to win neutral, bigger reward for winning it, typically. Now, a weapon like Katars, for example, has an additional hidden but little bonus reward 
because you get to put them into like, like a scary dodge scenario but that's that's another level that's another layer and who needs layers who needs a neutral light into a dodge diagonal down in read with a GC neutral light when I can just dance it hell yeah there we go that's the spike hitbox I was talking about let's abuse some of this some of this grim maybe chainsaw oh fell into it wow that actually killed that that is very surprising usually those moves don't have a lot of force but yeah I, I think that's why you typically see a lot of axe complaints and problems and, and lance complaints and the, and the like coming from a lot of lower levels because a weapon like this just based on its design will drop off at higher level but be pretty dominant at lower level for the reasons that I mentioned I thought he might go for a down sig or something but I got a down sig in my own and an end sig okay he waited I didn't think he would wait I thought he I thought he would get antsy I thought he'd rush for it because he's on one stock I'm on I'm on three at that point we'll make him a little antsy This is a weird matchup for sure. I've got the priority for days. But if he can get up close, it can kind of be hard. That's why Neutralite and Downlight are such big assets, at least in my opinion. Is because Lance, the slower, typically slower weapon, if you get in on it, you can punish it. It does have that quick get off me option, so it can be pretty good. All right, final game, back on the yellow grin. The tried and true loadout. The young Olgrim. The final game. We'll see if I can't pull out another W. For the Stranger Danger books. I wonder what what my record is at in total. Not that that really matters, but just just curious for for the game's sake, you know. I'm pretty sure I've lost like probably like ten times or something like that. I don't know. Not sure. But we'll got get out of it. A little bit of a Lance Ditto. Axe into Lance, in my opinion, is a really good matchup for Axe. You got the down light. You got the side light. You can contest Lance horizontally. Uh, I didn't get a dash jump. With side light. And you can contest it vertically. And stuff it vertically with down light. I'll try and show it off a little bit. Once this Orion picks up a, uh, a Lance. But for now, no Lance in sight. I'll just be zooming myself. Also, I keep saying zooming. Shout out zooming. It's a song made by my friend Espejo. Mr. Moises. Check it out if you like. That was interesting. Oh, he already used recovery, apparently. Okay. Uh, I didn't know that. I didn't realize that. This game is going my way, at least so far. Going for a double downlight, I had my dodge. It's all good. This map is so good for Axe. You see, you can get the ledge canceled downlights. You can shark with nares. You can escape to the platforms and down air them below. The super, super quick rapid down air. This is Axe's best map, in my opinion, by far. Like, bar none. And a ground pound. Out of nowhere. Barring the game up. Does that make sense? Four bar in the game? There's something there. There's some connection. But I'm not finding it. I'm just finding the quickie 4-0. 5-0 technically in Stranger Danger this week. Uh, that's a win. That's a success. The Grim is done. Let me know who you want to see next. And that's it. I have nothing else to say. Goodbye.